All right, so let's do an example of a weak acid ionization calculation. So let's say 0 0.10 molar, a 0 0.10 molar solution of phenol, which is a weak acid, and it is not important that you know the name of this or the formula, totally unnecessary, um, I would tell you in the problem that this is a weak acid so that you would know that. Has a pH of 5.43. What is the Ka of phenol. So this is a weak acid ionization. This is the same as all of the equilibrium problems that we've been doing back in chapter 14 when we were solving for the Kc. Now we're solving for the Ka. So again, it is not important that you know what phenol is, just that you know that this is a weak acid. It's a weak acid, so we're just gonna write the equation for the equilibrium table as the generic uh, weak acid ionization, which is HA, HA here is gonna represent phenol, aqueous plus water, liquid, is in equilibrium with A minus, which would be the phenoate ion, doesn't matter, we're just using the generic equation, plus the conjugate acid of water because water is acting like a base. So this is the R in my equilibrium table, R. So it tells you that the initial concentration, it says that you have a solution and it has a pH, the, this initial concentration of the weak acid is 0 0.10 molar. That's what goes here. This is the concentration of the weak acid. We don't start out with any of this. And also, something that you'll see is that because this water is a liquid and it is excluded from the equilibrium table, this row is always gonna be blank. <clears throat> okay, so now this is just like everything else. You pay attention to the stoichiometry to see which what the change is. Remember, the reactants are always decreasing, so this is minus x. The products are always increasing, so that's plus x plus x. And then we bring everything down to this equilibrium row, 0 0.10 minus x, x, and x. So all that's really important here when we're using this kind of generic example is that this is a monoprotic acid, meaning that there's just one hydrogen here. We will see examples of diprotic or triprotic acids where this is uh, not just one hydrogen. Remember, we always lose one hydrogen at a time. But just to make sure the stoichiometry is correct, this one hydrogen right here, this is called a monoprotic acid. Mono meaning one, protic meaning one acidic proton. You'll see in the formula here, there are more hydrogens, but this is not an acidic proton. Usually the acidic proton is written out front. Okay, so let's do this. So we're going to solve for the Ka is what this question is asking us to do. It says, what is the Ka? So remember what the Ka is. The Ka is the concentration of the products over the concentration of reactants at equilibrium. So that means this row. This row is what we use to solve for the Ka. So the Ka, I'm just gonna write it from the generic formula and then we'll put this in. I'm gonna say Ka equals the concentration of A minus at equilibrium times the concentration of hydronium at equilibrium over the concentration of HA at equilibrium. So I'm just gonna plug in this row here. I'm gonna say Ka equals X 
times x over 0 0.10 minus x. Okay, so now what? Well, this problem gave us more information. It says it has a pH of 5.43. So the pH being 5.43 means we can determine what x is, because remember what the pH is. pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion at equilibrium. So that means I can use the pH to solve for the hydronium ion concentration, which also just happens to be x. And once we get that, we can plug it in here. So I'm not gonna use this version because I'm given the pH. I'm gonna say hydronium ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pH. And I'm gonna use the pH that was given. Hydronium ion equals 10 to the negative 5.43. So let's see what that is. 10 to the negative 5.43 is 3.72 times 10 to the negative sixth. But remember, this pH is a log because it has two decimal places. That means my concentration will only have two significant figures. So I'm gonna say hydronium ion concentration equals 3.7 times 10 to the negative sixth. This is the molarity of the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium. Well, the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium is x. So that means x equals 3.7 times 10 to the negative sixth. So now I can plug that in to my Ka. So I'm gonna say Ka equals 3.7 times 10 to the negative sixth times 3.7 times 10 to the negative sixth over 0 0.10 minus 3.7 times 10 to the negative sixth. So when I solve, I get something like 1.4 times 10 to the negative 10th. And that is the Ka for phenol. And that's what the question asked. What is the Ka for phenol? That is the Ka. That is the ratio of how much acid broke apart to how much acid stayed together. Most of these Ka's for the weak acids are gonna be really, really small numbers because most of the position of equilibrium mainly lies on this side of the reactants and only a really small amount of the weak acid is breaking apart to produce the conjugate base and the conjugate acid. So this is an example of how we use an equilibrium table and apply it to acid, weak acid chemistry, the key here is to remember that the pH is related to the hydronium ion concentration. So once we had our table set up, we could figure out what the hydronium ion concentration was from the pH and then plug that in to solve for the Ka.